What's going on everybody? I just want to say thank you to everybody who showed up to the live stream earlier. I had an absolute blast. And I mean, just to sit there and talk and see what everybody thinks about AMC, it's exciting. I mean, if you want to be a part of the movement, show up to the live streams, whether it's on my channel or somebody else's, show up to the live streams and see who's investing in AMC and the sentiment surrounding this movement. You will be inspired. Now in this video, we're going to talk, look, I don't have any articles or anything like that today, but we're going to talk about something that was brought up in the live stream and it's very interesting. The difference between GameStop and AMC. Now, I think there are some pretty big differences between these two stocks here and the squeezes that are subsequent, right? Now, we know that GameStop, it squeezed all the way up to about $480 per share, and there's still some short interest out there, and we've got a lot of people holding GameStop. But I believe that AMC is going to be a completely different beast. So let's go over some of the differences and really kind of what I, what I think can happen with AMC stock. Now, if this sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. What's up, everybody? I'm Clay. I'm here to make 2021 the best year ever. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button yet, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a bro. We're here every single day, and we're growing our portfolios together. All right, AMC stock, GameStop, what's the difference here, right? Now, let's go over some of the basics because, look, very similar situation. We can go over numbers and we can go over something else that I believe might be a little bit more important than the numbers. But let's start here. GameStop took the world by storm, okay? There are, there are people investing now that weren't even interested in the stock market before GameStop absolutely blew everybody away. I mean, you're talking about a $4 stock that went up to a $400 stock in a matter of weeks, right? Matter of, you could say months, but let's break it down to weeks. It sounds better when you say weeks. So, you know, this absolutely blew a lot of people's minds and a lot of people were unprepared. Now, if we talk about GameStop and we look at the short interest on GameStop, now, not taking into consideration any of the synthetic shorts that are out on AMC or, you know, these synthetic shares and stuff like that, if you look at the numbers being reported, right now, AMC stock has about a 20-some a percent short interest rate or short interest, and that means that roughly 70, lower 70 millions shares are being shorted on AMC stock. Now, this differs from GameStop because with GameStop, it was over a 100% short interest on GameStop. That means for every one share outstanding that GameStop had, it was like 1.2 or 1.4 shares were being shorted for every one share that existed. Now, this can be a discussion in its own. How do you get short interest above 100%? You know, I could do a video on that kind of explaining how that would work. But for the interest of this video and for the sake of this video, just know that shares shorted on GameStop were over 100%. Shares shorted on AMC stock are around 20% right now. Now, you would think that this would lead to a much bigger and much better squeeze on GameStop than we could see for AMC. But I do not think that's the case. I believe, and I'll, I'll get into why here in a second, but I believe that AMC stock could set records on a short squeeze. Just because it's got a lower short interest does not mean that it has a lower short squeeze. So let's talk about one of the biggest reasons why. Okay, now at the beginning of the video, I mentioned that GameStop took the world by storm. And it did. You know, there were people who had no interest in investing. It was on everybody's TVs. It was on every local news station. GameStop, Wall Street Bets, it, it, it blew everybody away. There were a lot of unprepared people. Wall Street Bets, that subreddit was, was I think there was 500,000 people, maybe 600,000 people in it when it first started to hit the news. Now there's like, what, 10 million people in that subreddit? That's how fast and how quickly it gained the interest, not only of America, but of investors all over the world. I mean, you saw it in the live stream today. We got people in Germany. We got people in Portugal. We got people in Brazil. There are people all over the world interested in what's happening with AMC 
because they caught on to the GameStop movement. Now, this is going to lead to the biggest difference between the two squeezes. One, and somebody in the live stream, I forget who it was, I forget the name, they put it perfectly. GameStop was a practice round, okay? Everybody got to see the potential in a short squeeze. Everybody got to see what it's like to trade and to invest I don't want to use invest. It's a much better term if you use trade when talking about a short squeeze because when you're investing, you know, you're investing in fundamentals, you're investing in value. When you're trading, that you know, it's more technical, it's more speculative. So let's use the word trade. When you're trading a short squeeze, we saw what's possible in GameStop. What can actually happen? And of course, emotions run high. I mean, before people started to catch on, GameStop was already trading at $75 a share, right? Now, AMC, the big difference is we are prepared. It doesn't, I mean, look at the community out there surrounding AMC right now, okay? There are so many people anticipating this squeeze, knowing that this squeeze will happen. They're starting to formulate their plans, their exit strategy, which is good because if you don't have a plan in place, here's what'll happen. AMC will double, it'll triple, it'll quadruple in price, and you'll think, this is it, boom, I'm out. And then, you know, you get out and then it goes up a hundred times, right? And, and you got out when it was a 4X and it hit a hundred X. So you need to have a plan in place. And that's exactly what investors are doing right now. That's what the retail investors are doing. So even though there's only a 20 some percent short interest on AMC shares right now, this could be a, a world of a difference when you're talking about the squeeze because of the preparation. Now the preparation is absolutely paramount. Paramount preparation, try to say that three times fast, right? It's absolutely paramount, which is going to lead to the biggest difference in this squeeze. Now a lot of people ask, what's your price target? What do you think this could actually squeeze up to? Here's the deal with that. That has so many different variables and it's impossible to pick the peak right? You cannot pick the peak. So knowing that, one, don't feel bad if you get out before or if you get out after the peak. Nobody will be able to time it perfectly, okay? So don't beat yourself up. Don't be like, oh my gosh, I got out too soon or oh my gosh, I I got out too late. It'll happen. There's no such thing as a perfect investment. But there is going to be so much money to be made along the way that even if you jump out early or even if you jump out late, you will be a successful investor. So let's talk about this. If you're if you're asking or if you're wanting a price target, just know that it can't be timed perfectly. But here's some things that you want to look for and here's some things that can really help you along the way. You know, have your price target in mind going into it. But if you want to call an audible, if you want to change the game along the way, here's some things that could really help you. You know, days to cover. That is going to be a huge factor when it comes to how long this squeeze can play out, okay? Now, in some of the previous videos, we've talked about risk and how these lenders are going to be analyzing the risk on these shares that are being shorted right now and lent out. So this has this has a lot to do with it. Days to cover you find that out by this. You look at the daily volume for AMC stock and you look at the shares being shorted. Now, there's way too much speculation when you're looking at synthetic shares and shares that you know nobody really knows about and stuff like that. So if you're using numbers in the billions, that can definitely get a little tricky. But if you're using numbers that are being reported, at least you know that those numbers being reported are, I mean, they're supposed to be legitimate, right? So you can go with that. If you're looking at that 70 million and you know that they're going to have, let's say volume gets down to 10 million per day, it's going to take them seven days to cover all of those shares. If volume gets down to 1 million, it's going to take them 70 days to cover all of the short shares. Guys, that would be, if volume, if you saw volume get down to a million shares per day, which is possible if people buy and hold, right? Everybody who's not on board yet, if you bought one share, that's starting to eat up the shares that are available. And you're okay holding one share, right? You, you, don't, you don't have anything to lose when it's $10. So if you hold those shares, <laughs> those shares can be held for a very long time and you don't have to worry about going and taking your profit. So if you start to see some ridiculous numbers like that, don't panic. 
the first day of the squeeze. If you know that they have 70 days, if it's going to take them that long to cover their, their shares, don't panic the first day it squeezes. Don't panic the first week it squeezes if that's the case. Now, it's different if they're only going to have you know seven days to cover because a lot of the stuff I've been reading says that it's not even a risk for them. They don't even worry about it until like the eight day mark. When, it, when you get up to eight days to cover, that's when they start to worry on whether or not they're actually going to be able to get out of this position. Because look, guys, we can hold, we can hold all day long, but when the squeeze happens, volume will rise. Okay. People are going to be taking profits. People are going to be booking those profits as they see it go up and shares traded is going to start to tick up as well. So, you know, it's not going to be like, Oh, we get down to 1 million shares and then we're going to stay at 1 million during the squeeze. Uh, emotions will kick in. And just know that emotions will kick in and volume will rise during the squeeze. So don't panic the longer it's going to take longer to squeeze than you would expect if volume stays low. So that's good news. If volume spikes up really high, it's going to be a much more emotional trade. It's going to be a lot of people jumping in, fear of missing out. They want to book their profits and stuff like that. So if you're looking for a price target, Put your price target at whatever you're comfortable with because I'm going to tell you right now, if you hold one share or if you hold 100,000 shares, you you booking your profit at a level, whether or not it's before or after the squeeze, is not going to move the market. So you don't have to worry about messing things up for everybody else if you book your profit early, if you book your profit late. You don't have to worry. You have to do at the end of the day what is best for you. Now, Personally, I think that you can hold past, you know, twenty dollars per share. I, I really do. At that point, you're just moving your shares over to somebody that actually will hold them. So that's completely up to you. But know that, have your plan in place before the squeeze ever happens, because by the time it starts to happen, guys, it's gonna be too late and you know it's gonna be panic selling, it's gonna be panic profit taking. And you don't want to get into that emotional situation. So that's all I have for today, guys. I hope that everybody has an amazing weekend. If you're still here and you haven't bought a share of AMC yet or you're brand new to investing, there's a link down in the description below for Weeble. It is super simple to set up your account. Listen, you're going to get a couple free stocks just for doing so. Sign up, deposit $100, sell your free stocks, and buy a share of AMC. There you go. You're in AMC, you're holding, and you've got absolutely nothing to lose. That share was free. So that's a good strategy to take too. If you want to be a part of the movement, if you want to get in, and if you want to sit on that share and see what happens in this in this short squeeze, guys, because it will be historical. If the subscribe button is still red, you've been here for 13 minutes, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a bro. We're here every single day, and we're growing our portfolios together. Now, share the video somewhere, anywhere. I mean, whatever you guys got, tag me at Claybro or Claybro883. I'd love to follow you guys back, see what everybody's interested in investing in. Now, until the next time, I hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day.